what they are, even if they happen to be gods. for a way home. 
some other pathway to our world. I admit I'm a little disappointed I couldn't see him. You'd be surprised if you did. He looks totally different, among other things. Huh? <laughs> By now, I'm sure he's... right about that, Shia. This is no place I'd willingly enter if I had any choice in the matter. It's very different from the last time I was here. It's much cooler, and my eyes don't even hurt. Papa is so awesome! Well, I agree. Papa Hajime is awesome indeed. Do you want some cold water, Mia? Yes, please. I'm very thirsty. Hey, Shirasaki. <laughs> oh, Kaori. Please stop calling me Papa Hajime. It makes me feel so uncomfortable. Huh? But that's what Mio calls you, and you don't seem to mind then. That's way different. Mio's a kid, but having a classmate call me Papa is just awkward and weird. Okay, I won't call you that then. But just you wait. One day when I have a baby, I'll teach them to. Sorry. I have prior claim. He promised me. <laughs> I have his word that he'll take me to meet his parents. <gasps> Our baby-making days are on the horizon. <laughs> We have plans for a date in Hajime's hometown, too. <laughs> There's so much that I know about Hajime that you don't, you ain't? Like, his future aspirations, his hobbies! For example, do you even know what Hajime's favorite anime and manga are? Well, I am... Um, that doesn't matter anymore. Those things don't exist in this world. Really? Even though Hajime totally looks like an anime character <laughs> now? His weapons are familiar, too. Like his new one. What did he call it again? The CrossFit, was it? That's totally based on the funnel from that one show, right? Please, please shut up. <laughs> How can you act like you've won when you know nothing about the things he loves? Old words, Callie. I can tell you something he loves. Something much more meaningful. What he likes in bed. <laughs> Assessment, yeah. Is that a thing with them? No, they literally eat anything. I can't imagine they would ever hesitate in front of a meal normally. <laughs> Hold on! Right, Hajime? It looks like a much bigger crowd now than it did before. <laughs> 
Watch and learn, ladies. Stay in Brisa with Shia. Oh, thank you. I'm not being altruistic. I'm curious. Why didn't they eat him? So I've depleted just enough to relieve the pressure. So he's still at risk. And unless we act, it's only a matter of time before he goes into mana overload again. There's also a chance that fatigue could cause him to deteriorate and die. I've never seen symptoms like these in any of the materials I've studied. Yue, Tio, do you have any ideas? No? Cody, just in case, do a diagnosis on us two. If this is an unknown disease... It could be airborne, so we should make sure. Oh my goodness, a goddess! I see. I must have died back there. Now my time has come to meet God. Oh, dear goddess! Hajime! Stop spewing that nonsense and get up already. You're still alive. So I didn't die? I was certain that would be the end of me. But God had other plans. I suppose I haven't been forsaken yet. Hajime, I think it would be best if we brought him into the car. Agreed. It's too hot out here. Uh, it's not hot. Where am I? Is this a divine sanctuary? Here you go. Uh, Have some water. What? Cold water? First of all, thank you for saving my life. If I had died out there, everything I hold dear would surely be wiped away. Oh, my name is Bise Fjord Zengen. I am the son of the Duke, Lanswe Fjord Zengen of Ankaji. The Dukedom of Ankaji? An important trade hub for seafood. It comes there from Edison, the city on the ocean. And Mew was born and raised in Edison, too. My mama is waiting for me there. How convenient. If I remember correctly, Master, we were headed toward Ankaji, weren't we? Yeah, that's right. From what the man says, it sounds like the town is in a bit of trouble. Tell us about what's going on, then. A few days ago, citizens all over Ankaji began to collapse from a high fever. A 
poison that causes mana overload was found in our drinking water. Our oasis was polluted by this stuff. The oasis is protected, maintained, and managed with the utmost care. No one knows how it got poisoned or who did it, if anyone. However, there is an antidote to the poison. It involves a special mineral called stillstone. This is exceedingly rare. When it's ingested, stillstone calms a person's mana a great deal. It can only be mined from the Gruen Volcano, which is quite dangerous. Uh, a Gruen Volcano? Yes, it is. And now, all the skilled adventurers of Ongaji have fallen ill. And the average adventurer? They wouldn't get past the sandstorm around the volcano. Powerful adventurers are rare, too. There's no time to find one. We're almost out of safe drinking water. So in a nutshell, you set out to track down help, then you collapsed, too. So Ankaji's in deep trouble now. Someone just needs to cleanse the oasis and bring Stillstone from the volcano to cure the afflicted citizens, right? I see it now. You seem like gold-ranked adventurers, and you are a goddess, aren't you? This must truly be the will of God! He must have sent these goddesses to save us. The will of God, huh? Yes, indeed. Therefore, I ask you, as deputy of the Duke of Ongaji, if you're able and willing, I beg you, please aid us in this enterprise. Papa, are you going to save them? Yeah. planning to stop by Ankaji anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad! We're going to get busy again, and I like it. Let's hurry up and get there! Yay! Fun! <laughs> we would prefer that you go directly to the volcano, but we should stop first. In the royal capital. We'll get water there. There's no need to go to the royal capital. We don't have to worry about getting more water. We're heading to Ankaji now. Don't have to worry? Isn't that right, Yui? Yes, Hajime. Oh, come on! Can you stop drifting off into your own little world together? I know, right? The two of them are always leaving everyone else out! Not fair! Yeah, not fair! General Freed! Is it true about Catlia? She was defeated? Yes, Mikhail. No, no, it can't be true! Catlia could not have perished! She was strong! With all those monsters at her side. The mission at the town of Ur was a failure as well. <laughs> Not Ur, too. The operations were a partial success. 60,000 monsters were recruited, poised to lay waste to the town and kill the fertility goddess. But then, an irregular crushed our plan. An irregular? Four individuals crushed the entire monster army. Reese, who was on the mission, lost an arm in the fight. <laughs> Reese, too? That's impossible. The four irregulars departed Ur and headed straight to the Great Orcus Labyrinth, just when Catlia was about to encounter the hero. So then, these Irregulars killed her? Our enemies are stronger than we thought, so I must travel to the volcano at once. I will acquire a new Age of God magic and grow stronger, whatever the cost. General Freight. I do so in service of our king, and to honor the god whom our people worship. Defend this place while I'm away, for war will be coming soon. I'll avenge Catlia. Do as you command. You have dared to thwart the sacred mission bestowed upon me by God himself. You shall pay dearly for that, my unseen enemies. The moment you see me is the last time you draw breath. There is no place in this world for heathens like you, nor for irregulars.
Next episode, Burning Light. She sure is a looker, huh? Yes, it's a beautiful city. I feel sad. Is this a sad place? It is, I'm afraid. I wish you could have seen it at its liveliest, but that time has passed. We should seek out my father at once. and its people from ruin. I guess so. So many patients. Shia, let's start. Asura. their thirst. <sighs> I would love to try that for myself even once. Yeah, me too! Next, the Oasis. What's wrong? It's just my demon eye. I believe it detected something under the surface. Duke, hmm. how far has the research team gotten with locating the source? They've analyzed the water in the oasis and the rivers that flow out of it. And they've studied the groundwater veins. But they haven't explored the bottom of the oasis itself. And you guys wouldn't be keeping any creepy artifacts in there now, would ya? We do use artifacts for security and management purposes. But they're kept outside the oasis. Strange. And I wonder what I'm detecting. What are you doing? Damn, this thing's faster than expected. Wait, don't do that! Mr. Hajime, what is the meaning of this? Still not gonna give? Fine, and here come 50 more! You'll ruin everything! Seen a monster like that before? Is it a vacuum? 
who cares what it is? It's the thing causing all the pollution. I'm willing to bet that it has some sort of special poisonous magic. Yes, I would say that's a fair assumption. Can you take it down? Stake your goatee on it. sense any more men in there. I can't guarantee that eliminating the source will get rid of the pollution right away, though. Well, then... There's still some pollution. <sighs> Try not to get discouraged, my friends. Fresh water flows out of the oasis at a rapid rate. I have no doubt it will return to its former pristine glory soon enough. Yes, what Tio says is true. But again, I want to know what kind of monster that was. Did a new species find its way in through the groundwater veins? My guess is, demons are responsible. Demons, you say? I'm assuming you have some evidence to support such a wild claim? Well, duh. We are doing our own research as well, but, uh, we never thought they could control monsters like that. We underestimated them. I thank you. As a representative of my nation and people, you are the savior of our country. Aw, huh, that's really sweet of you. But don't forget that you owe me one, big time. You hear me, buddy? <laughs> I know I can do this. Here we go! Here we go! People of Ankaji! You've come back! That was fast! The source of the Oasis's pollution has been removed. It will take some time, but our Oasis will soon be restored. In addition, we have a clean supply of water. It is enough to last us until a cure arrives. On that note, the gold-ranked adventurers have accepted our quest. They will travel to the Grand Gruen Volcano to mine the stillstone needed to heal us. It'll be a few more days. Keep your spirits up and we shall overcome this together. I'll stay here and look after the patients, but my thoughts are with you. Just find the stillstone and hurry back, okay? Sure thing. I'll see you soon. And I'll take good care of Mew, so don't worry. Thank you. I'll hold you to it. Mm. What's wrong? I'm just worried, that's all. Promise you'll come back safely. I'll be here waiting. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Papa? Are you going to kiss Big Sister Cowrie goodbye? You know, the same way you kissed Big Sister Huey? <gasps> you kissed her? Oh, Mew, you were peeking through my fingers? I want Papa to give me a big kiss, too. You'll have to wait until you're a bit older. Why? What is this about kissing, huh? You were working out there today, weren't you? If so, I can't think of a single reason you'd be kissing people. So enlighten me. How did it come to that? What made locking lips so important? Were you two having fun? Did you forget that I even existed? It was delicious. <laughs> Can you? We're heading out. Promise me you'll be a good girl, all right? I promise. Dunk you in lava so you can sweat in solidarity. Well, this screams entrance. Ready? <laughs> Let's go! Yes. <laughs> what is this place? Is that purple stuff still stone? Yes, indeed it is. How very astute of you, Master. It's not much. Yeah, all I see are pebbles here and there. Looks like this area has already been depleted. We need a whole lot of this stuff, which means we'll have to mine this place deeper than anyone has before.
farthest anyone's gone and still made it out alive. Stay frosty. Side? Uh-huh. Who could have imagined such a place? Now that we have access to this much stillstone, we can definitely save the people of Ankaji. Yeah. Now we just have to get through the giant daunting labyrinth. No biggie. a big block of ice. This heat is frying our brains right out of our skulls. Mm, as you wish. Oh, wow. That feels so cool. They were starting to get cooked. <sighs> you can go ahead and relax for a bit, but don't forget to wipe off your sweat. If you get too cold, you'll stiffen up. Uh -huh. Oh, that makes sense. Wow, Master, you seem surprisingly relaxed. I'm just playing it cool. This heat's worse than I thought. I could really do with some air conditioning artifacts right about now. Huh. If it's having that effect on you, Master, then perhaps we've identified the concept behind this labyrinth. The concept? That's right. The great labyrinths are designed to test those who seek to fight God, correct? Then it follows that perhaps they each have a unique testing concept. For example, the Great Orcus Labyrinth is designed to make you fight various monsters and gain valuable combat experience. The Great Ryzen Labyrinth tested your ability to respond to all types of attacks without the help of mana, which is an important power. I hypothesized that the Great Gruen Volcano is a test to see if you can maintain focus in extreme conditions, like this heat, and respond to ambushes and surprise attacks. Interesting thought. It never even occurred to me, honestly. It makes me wonder if maybe the tests themselves could be the teachings of the Liberators, or... Wanna come wipe me down, Hajime? This is like an amusement park ride through hell. Mm -hmm. Look, Hajime! There's another tunnel up there! Altitude-wise, I think we're around to base level. This could be something. Yeah. gems embedded in the walls. Assuming there are some we can't see, I bet there are about a hundred gems total. Do you think that could be the Liberator's hideout? Given the depth of where we are and the general look of it, it could be. But that means we may have company. 
You mean the final guardian could be here too, correct? The lava river did seem like a bit of a shortcut right to this place though, so maybe we just skipped past the final guardian altogether. I've got this one! all the gems. That means we've got a lot of giant lava snake fighting ahead of us. Battling these guys in this heat won't be easy, but it does jive with the concept of the labyrinth. Well, ladies, shall we kick it up a notch? It's been a while since I've launched this. I hope you enjoy my serpent friends. I just pulled into the lead with only one attack. Not sure if I get the most kills when all is said and done, I think I'll deserve a very special reward! I like the sound of a reward, but I'm the one who's gonna get it, not you, Tio! <laughs> Do we have to talk about that right now? Reward? My reward will be a romantic thing just us two! Lightworm! <laughs> Yue is glitching out. Her power is in overdrive. There aren't any new snakes appearing. Seems like these five are the last of them. <laughs> and I want two of them all to myself. Grand Gruen Volcano, conquest complete! It's been fun, but it's done.
Next episode, Black and White. Staging the ambush here was an excellent idea. You pose too 
great a risk, I couldn't just ignore you. That man in particular. How could he possibly have survived a direct hit from Uranus's breath? Tell me who you are, I demand it. How many Age of Gods magics have you learned? First, are you gonna introduce yourself, or should I call you Uranus's breath? <laughs> Typical demon. I guess a lack of manners is to be expected, though. Hush me! <sighs> are you okay? I'm glad to see you standing. I see no need for pleasantries. After all, you're about to meet your end. Come on, man, I was just making a childish joke. I couldn't care any less what your name is. By the way, how's your friend's arm situation going? <clears throat> I think the new look suits him, personally. You are speaking to Frey Bagua. I am God's obedient apostle. I bring divine punishment to heathens. God's apostle, right. Let me venture a wild guess here. You learned an age of God's magic, so now you can call yourself that. You were sharper than you look, heathen. When the powers of the age of gods were vested in me, I heard the voice of my god speaking to my heart, saying, You're my apostle! Cool. I made a vow to sacrifice all for the will of my god. Your existence stands in the way of that, a fact which makes you my sworn mortal enemy. Therefore, heathen, I shall now eliminate you! Here's where I say that's my line. What does that mean? You stand in my way, that makes you my sworn mortal enemy. Killing all my enemies is my thing! What? Did you think only dragons comprise my arsenal? This defense can't be penetrated as easily as that. Now you shall bear witness. I'll show you the Age of God's power I've learned. I seek nothing but the will of God. I walk heaven and earth, my hand reaching for nothing but drifting in the ether beyond the of reality. Hey, I shall be a creature in this seamless world. I bring you down to and bring about a corridor into the divine realm.
Hercules fault. What? you get in here, little one? I wonder if you're a noble's pet or something. Are you an escape artist running from your master? Oh my gosh, so cute! Mm, you're such a sweetie! Also a terribly naughty little kitty for running off and leaving your poor master like that. Shizuku will punish you for being such a bad naughty kitty! Hey! Hold on! Where are you going? But when I noticed you weren't with Koki, I thought you might be training, so I came to look for you. Meow? Uh, uh... No! No, 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 don't look at me like this! It's ridiculous! Just kill me now! So, what did the church and castle officials say? Well, they... they just kept going on and on about how important it was for Koki to get powerful enough to fight the demons. And they said the sooner the better. What was their take on Nagamo? It hasn't been fully decided yet, but... Lily? There's been some talk about them branding Nagamo a heretic. Do you think they're serious? Yes. What the hell is this? You gotta be kidding me! No! How is he still alive, damn it? You don't seem very happy. <laughs> I guess it's only natural, especially considering that your precious little princess was taken away right in front of your eyes. Go away! He was alive! So there's no reason for me to obey you, okay? Don't you want her? What? If she was taken from you, then just take her back. You... He may have survived, but that doesn't change the fact that you tried to kill him, you know. <laughs> Attempted murder. That's what it's called, right? Of course, at the end of the day, I'd rather not accuse a classmate if I had a choice. You're still trying to blackmail me? I'm not saying you have to obey me blindly or anything. It's a trade. Like it was before. You get what you want, I get what I want. Everybody's happy. <laughs> well then, let's wrap this up, shall we? After that, your wishes will come true. My wishes. Well, 
Next episode, Reunion.
safe for now. Hajime, look there. A magic circle. Does this magic control space? That must be how he did it. You mean how he appeared behind us all of a sudden? This is my prayer, that someday in the future, humankind will be free. Nice growing. It's short and sweet. I guess he put his affairs in order. He really did. He didn't leave anything behind except for the magic circle. and the magic. Now, any idea how to get out of here? Well, spatial magic is hard to master, so we can't use that to get out yet. You do have an escape plan, though, don't you? The way out is probably totally blocked off by lava at this point. We're just gonna have to swim through it, I guess. Uh, come on. Don't you girls have faith in your boy? Actually, we built a ship that can travel underwater. The sunken ruins of Melusine are up next, and I figured we'd need one for that. That's our best bet now. I'm not sure it'll be able to withstand the lava. It seems like we're all out of options. Looks like the old girl will hold up just fine. Wait, what's happening now? Damn it! Sorry, lost control. If this were an eruption, it would have tossed us out the top. Something else is going on. We're going straight down? No, something's pushing us down at an angle. That's not good. We want to go up, not deeper underground. Well, ladies, I don't think it's going to be a quick trip out of here. Seems like we'll have to ride this train to the end of the line. I'll ride any train you're on. As long as I'm beside you, I have no regrets. Yeah, I thought this was a ship, not a train, but same here. Whatever train or ship you guys are riding, I want to be on it too, no matter what. tests and find out. Mateo still has the treasure trove with her, so I can. We go where the wind takes us. Sounds like something someone says when they're lost. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Who are you and what are you doing here? Answer us now! What is this strange contraption you ride? Tell us! If you're trying to get sympathy, it won't work! Is that the trick you used to kidnap the girl too? Have you come here to steal more of our precious bird children? <sighs> 
You're not talking about Mew, are you? There's no need to get angry. Silence, you! No one gave you permission to speak, rabbit wet! <laughs> What is it? <laughs> You're kidding me. that again, okay? It was dangerous. Promise? Good. I forgive you. Papa! <laughs> I'm just so glad. I'm so relieved to see you again in one piece. I told you that I'd catch you later. But yes, as you can see, I'm fine. So come on. Stop crying. If Shizuku found out I made you cry, she'd have my head on a stick. Yeah, okay. I need a hug. Just one. I didn't doubt you one bit. I always believed in you. But why did you make me wait so long? Please give me some of your time, my master. Take me on a date. Please, I beg you, master. Give me my reward. assigned by the Guildmaster. Thank you, Mr. Nakamo. Gold rank adventurer. I'm sure you have tons of questions for me, but for now, can we take this young lady to her mother and talk later? Of course. However, I will need answers. What with the sighting of the dragon out at sea in that ship-like vehicle. As a soldier of the kingdom, I am required to investigate. Yeah, I'll be staying here in Addison for a little while. I bet you and I can find some time to have a conversation. Yes, there will be plenty of opportunities to talk things over. Get settled in and I'll be in contact. All right, show's over. If anyone feels like they still want to loiter, they'll get a free stay in jail for impeding military business. Come on, Papa, hurry up! Let's go to my house! I want to see my mama! Okay, let's get over there, Stan. who kidnapped Mew must be responsible for this, too. Cowdy. Verdict. <clears throat> She'll be fine. I should have no trouble healing this. 
I'd like to spend a few days on it, though. In order to avoid any unpleasant side effects, I think it'd be best to take our time. It might be a bit uncomfortable until then, but it'll heal up good as new. Trust me, you'll be all right. Oh, thank you. What a relief. I had come to believe this wound was impossible to heal. How can I ever repay you? So, um, I'm very curious. How did you all find Mew? And, well, also, I just have to know, why does Mew call you Papa? Uh, are you ready for an epic story? Thanks to you, I have my daughter back, and my leg will be healed. I will repay this debt, even if it takes the rest of my life. Don't worry about it. You're her mother. You owe us nothing. <sighs> I agree. Yes, we only did what was right. I heard you all are planning to remain in Edison for a little while. I'd be honored if you would all be my guests while you're here. I know Mew would love that, too. No, thanks. That's kind, but I think we'll pass. There's a nice inn by the pier, and we'll be staying there. The ship needs maintenance, so it's convenient. Oh, I see. Are you perhaps trying to distance yourself from your adopted uh, daughter? Uh, mm -mm. Papa? Are you going away? Uh, I understand that you'll have to leave here eventually, but still, while you're here, it would make me so happy if you'd treat me like your own. <laughs> but it doesn't have to end when you leave, either. You can be her papa forever if you want. I owe you more than I could possibly repay you, after all. Um, I wouldn't say things like that if I were you. <laughs> Ladies, please don't hurt her. My goodness. They really care about you, huh? You see, it's been five years since I lost my husband, Mew's father. Mew, you want to papa, don't you? Huh? Papa is my papa. <laughs> I rest my case, Papa. Hey! Emergency meeting! This is a disaster! Where is she? Oh, right, she did say she was going to report to the king first. Shimizu. In any case, I'm still happy you made it out of there, Misaiko. Really. I guess we have Nagamo to thank for that. <gasps> he went there intending to save just you and the others. But he saved a little girl from slavery, too. Yes. I wonder if he's remembering his old self and becoming more like he used to be. Or maybe he's changed, but he's still growing up somehow. Either way, he's so impressive. <laughs> <sighs> <clears throat> Miss Aiko? Earlier, you told me you were saved from a dangerous situation, but how exactly were you saved? Huh? I mean, you almost died, sounds so dramatic. It piqued my curiosity, so I have to know how you recovered. Well, you see, about that whole thing. <clears throat> Hang on. Did something happen between you two? No, of course not. I mean, depends on what you mean by something, but no, we're just student and teacher. I definitely never think about kissing him. Psycho, why are you freaking out? It makes you seem suspicious. <laughs> Nagamo, what did you do to this woman? Anyway, what happened when you made the report to the king? What did he say? It's awful. Nagamo's officially been branded a heretic. <gasps> That's absurd. The punishment doesn't fit the crime in the least. Yes, I completely agree. Even though he's a formidable force and refuses to obey the church, he did save the town of Ur after all, and that should count for something. But still, no matter how strenuously I objected, they didn't listen. I thought they had to consider my objections, but they didn't seem to care. If they're ignoring you and branding Nagamo a heretic, doesn't that mean they're denying the goddess of fertility in doing so? <sighs> there must be something else going on. Come to think of it, the king and the other officials seemed somehow different. In fact, I'd call them suspicious. That makes me very uneasy. What are they thinking challenging Nagamo? He's stronger than all of them together. They must have someone in their pocket. Yagashi? There's something that Nagamo revealed to me that I haven't mentioned yet. Something he revealed? Yes. About the god the church worships, and what Nagamo's goal is. I don't have any proof of what he said, but I believe it, and it changes everything. <laughs> I need to tell you about it, and I think I had better do that soon, before it's too late. Don't I'm not
Next episode, Memories from the Bottom of the Sea. Our next order of business was to explore the sunken ruins of Melazine. In order to do this, we had to leave Edison for a while. Our time here has been so insane. Is alarmingly strong, is it not? I'm 
still traumatized from the last bumpy ride? Uh, is this safe? sound dirty, but someone's coming from behind. Its magic is glowing red and black, which can only mean a monster. <laughs> Time to test out my new weapons. Looks like I was able to increase the power of those torpedoes. I felt that a decent upgrade. fifth one we've seen. So that makes five pentagrams in five different locations so far. And the pendant still has some light left in it as well. Finding this place by magic alone would have been difficult. If we didn't notice the pattern right away, we'd have run out of power. I never could have done it without Master's magic ship. You can say that again. like an actual starting point. I mean, it's more just a regular cave than a sunken ruin, but still. I'm glad it's not entirely underwater. UA. <laughs> UA can handle it. <sighs> What's wrong?
one. That thing has no mana crystal. No mana crystal? What does that mean? Are you saying it's not actually a monster? To my demon eye, the whole thing shows up that dark reddish black. The rest of the room does too. Almost like its entire gelatinous body is one big mana crystal. The whole body? I think it's more like the whole room. I wonder if we're already trapped in the literal belly of the beast. <laughs> versions of the treasure trove, so I think they should be fine without us. They're capable women after all. Hey, Hajime? Mm. How come you decided to save me? Where's this coming from? For real, why'd you save me back there and not Yue? Because I thought she would die on her own, but Yue has no trouble taking care of herself. Also, she gave me a look that said save her, not me. You really trust her, don't you? Of course I do. She and I are partners. Huh? Ouch! What are you doing that for? Stop it! <laughs> you stop pouting. It's a waste of time. We gotta keep moving. We're still in a great labyrinth uh, now. Oh, I just spaced out for a moment is all. I'm sorry. What are we going to do now? We gotta keep exploring until we reach the bottom. What else? But that's what you I and team are up to. Uh, right, that makes sense. What is this? Some kind of ship graveyard or something. They all look like warships. Yeah. Although, the biggest ship seems different. Doesn't it look like a passenger ship? I wonder what that's about. to any kind of mana. Do you mean that I... I really killed a p person? <laughs> Are you not hearing me? This isn't real. It's an interactive illusion, like a video game. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. I was confused. 
confused for a second there, but I get it now. Always apologizing. What? Did you say something? Who, me? No, nothing. Huh? <gasps> In the name of our god, we shall slay you. Hail me, hit lord of all! Heretics, die before the glory of our god! <gasps> Ready to jump? Huh? Okay. So how do we get out of this amusement park ride going wrong? There must be a way. Maybe one of these ships is an exit or has one inside of it. There are hundreds of ships here. We can't possibly search every single one. That'll be over by the time we've finished. Hey, what if we're supposed to end the fighting? Uh, end it? Oh, wait. You mean kill them all? Damn, Cowdy. Uh, hang on! They're illusions, remember? All right, let's go. Uh, shouldn't we think this through? <sighs> oh, Jimmy, what was that? I'm sure it's related to these rotting ships, right? Seems to me like some kind of deranged war reenactment made with magic. Only this one has a fun added twist. Attack people who come to explore the labyrinth. I see. Now that I think about it, maybe war is the concept here. The concept? Tio told me about it back in the volcano. Each great labyrinth has a concept, determined by the liberator who created it. If that battle's any indication, maybe this one could be... To share the tragedy. The carnage that blind faith has wreaked upon Tortoise. Maybe? Yeah, I bet it's something like that. It's okay, really. I know how it feels to almost get swallowed by insanity. I nearly went crazy myself at the bottom of the abyss. What kept you from succumbing to it? You, eh? <sighs> if I'd never met her, who knows what would have happened to me. I, I am jealous. I wish I was the one who had held you back from the brink, who you trusted to protect you and care for you. That said, I don't know what I would have been able to do, honestly. I couldn't even keep a single promise. Boy, Yue is a formidable rival, huh? <laughs> Ever since we came here, you've been apologizing and smiling that weird little smile. <laughs> well, I... So, Cowdy, tell me, why did you come along? Do you mean... Are you saying that I'm just getting in your way? Yeah, I am. <laughs> what do you think about Shia? Shia? In the beginning, we were all pretty crappy to her. Well, I was. I didn't think much of her, especially compared to Yue. I hoped Shia would give up and split. She didn't, though. She cried and she laughed, too. Got angry. But she always seemed to be enjoying herself. She couldn't use magic much at all. She could easily be overpowered. But somehow she always held her head up high. She never let her feelings of inferiority get the better of her. That's not what I'm doing at all! Have been aware of it? Think about it. Since you came along, you've been apologizing non-stop. And that new, weird little smile has no confidence. Cowdy, don't look down. Look into my eyes and face me. I'll tell you again. I only love Yue. Even if someone else became important to me, no one could ever replace Yue, no matter what. If hearing that hurts you more than you can bear, if you're constantly comparing yourself to Yue and it hurts your self-esteem... Cody. It might be better if you weren't around me at all. This is important, and I have to talk to everyone about it right away. Pleasure to meet you, Aiko Hatayama. I have come here to take you away. Nice to meet you too. What do you mean by take me away? I have dinner with my students, you can't take me away. I can. You are going to the Divine Mountain. What? What are you talking about? <sighs> Impressive. I am very pleased to find that you do not call yourself a deity for nothing. Not many could resist my charm. <sighs> Stay away! I have no choice. <clears throat> do not worry. I will not kill you. You shall be a useful pawn. Besides... 
episode. ship out of nothing but wood is impressive. and risked your lives in the fires of war to achieve it. 
I am truly delighted to have gathered you aboard this ship today. I didn't think I'd live to see the end of this war, and yet here we are. Not only were we able to stop the fighting, but we did so with a peace treaty. And now, but a single year later, the view before me has become a reality. I can't help but feel overcome with emotion and such a... celebrating the end of a war, then. I'd say, given the context, that's the only real explanation. Maybe we assumed wrong about this labyrinth's concept. I certainly like this vision more than the last. They clearly put in the work to get where they are now. Overcoming prejudice is no joke. Hmm. Don't get me wrong, I doubt they've gotten over every single grudge. But they're having a good time together, at least. As today is the anniversary of said treaty, I've been reflecting on the past year. And how foolish this has been. <laughs> it's simply preposterous! Exchanging a toast with filthy animals! Discussing our future with heathens! It's the pinnacle of absurdity! Do you still not understand? Yes! I'm talking about you! What are you saying? Is this some sick joke? It's not funny- ah! Your Highness! Panic won't help. As I said moments ago, I'm truly delighted to have gathered you aboard this ship today. Your foul blood has been forsaken by God, and yet you're so arrogant, pretending you've created nations. And they're on equal footing with us humans. You've turned your backs on Ehit, our one true creator, to worship some worthless pagan god. We'll no longer tolerate you heretical idiots. As of this very moment, there shall be no peace for this world without your total annihilation! <laughs> Luckily, that won't take long. I'll slaughter the leaders of every nation today and begin to cleanse the universe of your kind! Now! Faithful servants of Egypt, at least upon them the judgment of God! Egypt, my lord, are you watching? Side. Since that's the last thing that happened, maybe we're supposed to poke around in there too. I get the feeling that was basically just a history lesson. To show us the kind of screwed up shit that can happen when you blindly follow e hit And a heavy-handed hint to search the ship. Pretty brutal thing to put someone through. Especially if you're actually from this world. Watching a few dozen heads roll is bound to shake your faith. So, do I have this right? In that last vision, the war had been over for a year, but that old man betrayed everyone. Sure seemed like it. But there's still one part that doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> when he went up on that stage, everyone looked at him with respect, like he was someone they'd grown to love. If he'd been harboring such deep hatred for beastmen and demons, it's hard to believe he'd have gained that much admiration from them. Good point. The way he spoke, it sounded like something happened. Something changed his mind in the years since the war. It's just such a 180, though. Well, whatever happened, it's God-related, that's for sure. some old-fashioned traps. I swear half these liberators just throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks.
glad you're not hurt. I was so scared back there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, honestly, I could probably use some comforting. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you think? I'm clearly killing an enemy. You're familiar. It's what you just tried to do. <laughs> I got scared. Looks like that thing's completely gone. What are you doing? Giving my answer. Answer? Yes. To your question from earlier, of why I came along with you, and whether I should really be staying right by your side. I love you, okay, Hajime? I'm serious. That's all the reason I need to be near you. Isn't that just gonna torment you? You're not Shia, you don't wanna share me with you, I... You're not wrong. I do want to have you all for myself. I want to be your one and only. I'm sure I'll be jealous of you, eh, and feel less than her. Exactly. I know it'll be painful for me sometimes. Then don't do it. But I also know, if I backed off now, I'd regret it. So I'm not going to. I know what's best for me, got it? And right now, that's being next to you. If that's really what you want, then I have nothing more to say about it. Deal. <laughs> Hajime, could you maybe repeat the thing you said earlier? What thing? You know, who did they threaten to make you so angry? <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about. Come on, don't be like that, just say it! <laughs> the hell? Is that a magic circle? Are we at the end of this place already? Are you complaining? No, I just didn't expect it to end so soon. It almost feels too easy, especially compared to the other labyrinths. I don't know, I thought it was hard enough as is. Besides, it's like you said, to the people who've always lived in this world, 
Those visions would be extra rough. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. It'd be like going through hell to them. Damn, look at that timing. Everything all right on your side? How about you? Wait, is she hurt? Hey, Cowdy! Did you hurt your legs? Uh, how is it that you're injured? Have you forgotten your healing magic? I appreciate the concern, everyone, but don't worry, I'm totally fine. I'm kind of just being spoiled at this point. The hell? If you can walk on your own now, you should have told me. Sorry, but truth is, I could do it the whole time. <sighs> Whatever, just get off. So, what happened while we were gone? Hey? Please spare no detail, Master. Did you get down and dirty with Calry? I must know. Oh, haven't felt that in a while. <laughs> so, what did happen? Oh, I just shared a little kiss with Hajime. Whoa, it really? Who, like, initiated it? You, him, both? I did. Hajime got angry that something bad happened to me. And my brain just said, go for it. Wow, that's like V for V what happened to me. <sighs> Here, I thought you'd give up and go away. Uh, makes sense. Hajime recommended that, and to be honest, I considered it. But nope. It's not like you being special to him is news anyway. So you don't mind? I guess you could say that. And besides, I didn't listen to him when I first tagged along. So why start now, just because I remembered how far ahead of me you are? Oh. Wish you didn't see me like that, though. If you're so torn up, you could always quit. <laughs> What's this? Am I a threat? Don't get carried away. After today, I know that I'm someone important to Hajime. So from now on, I'll try to become someone special. No matter who wants to get in my way. Fine. In that case, I accept your challenge again. I warn you, don't cling to that god. Make your own decisions. Move forward on your own feet. Only those with a free will shall be happy. Of conquest. If my math is right, we've got four now, which means we can take on the labyrinth at the Sea of Trees. Yes. Ah, oh, great. This one's forcing us out too. You ain't special magic. Say that. I guided them using my powers. Oh. 
Say, I've got the lowdown on this devourer monster thing. It is an ancient creature that lives right in this here sea. I mean, it's practically a sentient natural disaster, if you ask me. Done! He seems hungry, so... Eat up! episode, A New Vow.
grow up, but don't worry about it right now. I'll understand when I grow up? Yes, you will. Hmm. Papa, do you understand because this part of you has grown up? <laughs> because I don't have one of those. So will I never understand? Uh -huh. Mew, it's not like that. And it's normal for a little girl to not have one of those. Huh? Don't worry about it. You won't need to for at least 10 years. Maybe 20. Actually, try not to have anything to do with those, ever. Hmm. Good morning. Breakfast is ready. Mew, everyone pitched in together to cook a lovely breakfast for you this morning. And it's a full course fish meal, your favorite. So I think both of you should get up and get dressed. I have to agree. After all, this isn't good for Mew's education. Fine, will you relax? Uh? <laughs> hmm? It's been six days since we got back from the sunken ruins of Melusine. I've clearly stayed too long. I should... Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Papa, what are we going to do today? Uh, oh, let's, uh... We need to talk about that. <laughs> well, I mean, um, I think my plan might be to make some new equipment today, or maybe not. That's great, and I can help you do that. Uh, oh, th thanks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think it's a perfect day for all of us to play tag. Oh, so we're going to be chasing after you, huh? I see. That sounds very interesting. You ready, Mew? Best of luck getting away from us. Yes, ready! Here we go! We really need to get going soon. How much should I tell you? Will she cry? She'll definitely cry. I do not want your life to be an empty one. And it will be if you forget how to care about other people. <sighs> this is on you, Teach. Probably best if you don't call me that. Bold move. 
Remia. So it's like that, is it? I can't let my guard down. You know, depending on the angle, it looks a bit like she's performing a certain act I won't mention in front of you. At least not in public. Maybe I'll try! Thank you! very far away from here, which but means... But if you can go, Papa, I can go too! Oh, yeah? After all, I'm your kid. I can do it. <laughs> all right, you wait for me. Papa? Once everything's over, I'll come back here and I'll make sure to find you, okay? I'll bring folks. You should meet them. I really do. And anyway, have I ever lied to you? <laughs> when I come back here, I'll take you along with me. I'll show you my hometown, and then you'll get to see where I grew up. Really? I get to see it? Don't get too excited. My hometown's not much bigger than a jack-in-the-box toy. I want to see it! So are you excited? Yeah, very! <laughs> well then, be good and wait with your mom. And be careful. Don't do anything too dangerous. And listen to your mom, okay? I will! Papa! My mama! Can she come too? Uh, well, we'll see. Hey, come on, you wouldn't actually leave me out, would you? Uh, I guess not. But it's a radically different world. Who cares? Why would I not follow my daughter and my husband wherever they may go? <laughs> mom? Now, Mew, I could use a little help preparing for dinner. Yes, Mama! You'll take her with you? Should I not? If that's what you've decided, who am I to say? I see. It's not what I expected you to do, though. Yeah, I thought given how you are now, you'd say goodbye and leave it at that. Wow, did meeting you turn you into a bit of a softy master? <laughs> but can you just decide when to return? Even if you found a way to go home, it might not be a method that you could just use whenever you want to. I'll do whatever it takes. I'll come back here from you no matter what. And I will show her Japan. And if it happens that I cross over without her, I'll have no choice. I'll stop at nothing to come back. We'll find a way to cross worlds whenever we need. We'll make it work, you know? <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, being ignored like this really gets me going. Papa! <laughs> Dinner is ready now! Alright, let's go eat then! Good luck charm? Yes, Papa! That's right! Pretty. That's so sweet, Miu! Sure is! What a beautiful present! I'll treasure mine. I got you all the same ones! We love them. Thanks. Well, time to go. Um, have a safe 
trip. showing any signs of the void. In fact, he seems more energized than ever. In the name of God, he will punish the barbarism of the demons. I don't doubt that. And yet... Commander? Jose, gather all those who possess knowledge of dark magic. Have them investigate the true nature of the void and prepare countermeasures. Understood. As for Koki and the others? I will speak with them. Right now, they're a bit too unstable. I don't want to agitate them if I can avoid it. Though it is inevitable. <sighs> Magic that only affects morale. The natural assumption, of course, is that the demons are behind this. But a direct attack on the royal palace? Impossible. Even if such a thing were possible, why not use a more powerful magic? If they could use magic without being detected, why wouldn't they go after me? Killing the Knight Commander would surely damage morale more than some strange new magic. Who knows? I can't help but analyze their strategy. Please, God, if anything were to happen to me, I beg you, may this letter reach Duke Zengen. 
and especially Hashime Nagumo. Who's there? episode, A Disturbing Darkness. What could be up at this hour? Oh, sorry. It's just that none of us could sleep. No, it's okay. So I'm guessing you haven't found any guards yet. We were looking all day today, but no. I wonder if the commander learned anything. Hey, you guys. The commander, he's okay, right?
damn it! That was supposed to be fatal! How did you survive it? Why, Daisuke? How could you? Splits hammer! Mind if 
I take a look at the seashell Mew gave you? Huh? Sure, but why? What will you do with it? Wait, you'll see. Uh, huh? Hajime, look! <laughs> Does it seem to you like those people are under attack? Hmm. Yeah, by bandits, I think. From what I can tell, there are about 40 of them, facing approximately 15 guards. Looks like they've got a barrier up as well. <laughs> I'm impressed they're holding their ground while being so outnumbered. Yes, that barrier is quite impressive. I see. The bandits need to break that down to get through. They can't do anything right now, but the guards can shoot magic through the barrier. Okay, but why aren't the bandits retreating? There aren't many people in this world that can maintain such a huge barrier for that long. It might take a while, but the bandits just have to wait it out. She was 
kidnapped by this nun from the Divine Mountain. I thought the nun might be behind all of this somehow, or connected to the person who is. It was just so frightening. I knew that I had to tell someone, but I assumed that everyone in and around the castle would be under close surveillance, so I would have to look elsewhere. When I thought of who might be able to help, Kaori, you and Nagamo were the first who came to mind. Shizuku told me that you had traveled west. Anyway, that brings us to now. I thought I would start by asking Duke Zengen for help, so I sought out a caravan to ride with, and, well, you saw how that turned out, I suppose. I must say, I didn't imagine I would run into you like this. Not long ago, I'd have considered our meeting in such a way a blessing from God. But my faith is shaken. I fear the church's power. Something is wrong. If only I knew the reason. Oh, Lily. Well, I guess the first thing I need to do is go save my teacher. Uh, you would do that? Don't get too excited. I'm not looking to save the kingdom. But for her sake, yeah, I'll do it. For her, but... I can't just leave her in this mess if I'm the reason she got kidnapped. She deserves better than that from me. Of course, if somebody were to get in my way, like maybe the person who's responsible for all this, I'd have no choice but to tear whoever it is apart. Well, then I guess I'll just have to help they decide to get in your way. I'm so happy I found you when I did. Thanks, Nagumo. As it happens, the Divine Mountain is also one of the great labyrinths. I wonder what kind of Age of God's magic I can get there. students trying to do. They're up to something, but what could it be? Eliminating the irregular? What does that mean? The irregular? <laughs> Nagamo, please. Yeah, just give me a minute. <laughs> Over by the window. Hey, easy there, Teach. You're gonna burst the blood vessel. Take a deep breath. I gotta finish checking for traps real quick. Uh. What's with the gaspy fish face? I mean, you noticed me approaching, didn't you? Which is weird, since I thought I masked myself completely. Uh, hold on. Noticed? What? Well, you must have. I heard you call out my name before. Why else would you have done that? Uh, yeah, so anyway, why are you here? To get you. Why else? What? You came here for me? You came for me! You came here! To <sighs> they would scramble their brain or something, have they? Really? Uh, oh, my God. I don't think this is a good idea. It's so sudden that I'm your teacher after all. Um, I'm just trying to take this off. <laughs> Guessing you'd rather have access to your magic. Or did you want to hang on to it for some reason? Right. Uh, of course that's what you were doing. Well, yeah, what did you think I was up to? <laughs> oh, nothing. Nope, absolutely nothing. Uh, I'm glad you came here, but I don't understand how you knew where I was being held. No one else was around when I was taken. The princess tracked me down. Really? But why? How did she know? She was there. She saw you getting kidnapped. Huh? Except, she figured that the castle was being watched, so she couldn't risk telling Amanogawa and the others. 
which meant leaving the capital to find help, hmm? and doing it all on her own. Hmm. Truly, she did that? And when she found you, you were willing to come all this way to rescue me? Yeah, well, I am at least partially responsible for this situation. I'm sure I'm the last person you wanted to see. Still, I hope you don't mind putting up with me for a little while at least. You're definitely not the last person I wanted to see. It's true. What happened with Shimizu was awful, and I haven't gotten over it completely. Honestly, I don't know if I'll ever truly be over it. Even so, I think I understand what you felt when you pulled that trigger. Why you thought you had to do it. You do? I wasn't able to say this properly back then, so let me say it now. Thank you for saving me, Nagumo. You killed one of your classmates because of me. I'm so sorry. Stop it. You should know by now I make my own decisions. So I'll take the gratitude and leave the apology. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. Nagamo, please be careful. It's likely that labeling you a heretic was just the church's opening gambit. And the person who kidnapped me might be involved with their plans somehow. Yeah, I know. Whatever's going on, once I get you to safety, I'll have my own business to see to. In one way or another, that's likely gonna mean taking on the church. Oh wow, so you've been ready for this all along. I have. <laughs> well, this is interesting timing. It might actually work out in our favor, so I won't complain. What's going on? Did something happen? The demons are attacking. What we just heard was the barrier surrounding the capital being shattered. The demons are attacking? That's right. The Highlight Kingdom is being invaded as we speak. No, it can't be! Taken completely by surprise. So, what now then? You go. Regroup with Aminogawa and the others first. We can talk more later. Oh, okay. <laughs> episode, Invasion of the Capital. Irregular? My name is Noint. And as God's Apostle, it is my task to remove unnecessary pieces from the board. Yeah, well, I'd like to see you try. 
Bring it on, puppet god. I'll do 
do away with his companions. We've met one too many times already. Well, I'd like to see you try. Yeah, well, I'd like to see you try too. If you insist.
do you know? I must have gotten better. I'm finally strong enough for someone to call me a monster too, huh? to get you back. This is nothing. You would go that far for me? It seems you still have the energy to chat. Irregular. Considering the extra weight. 
You are indeed too strong. You are not fit to be our Lord's pawn. Oh, damn, that's a relief. I'd never want to be the kind of guy who's fit to serve that sorry choke of a god. Sitting up on his throne, crying for attention. Thanks for the compliment. If your goal is to anger me, it is fruitless. I have no emotions to manipulate. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? I'm not trying to piss you off, I'm just being honest. Prototype. Looks like my idea to combine creation magic and spatial magic was a good one. The song. Where's it coming from? What are these lights? What's going on, Nagumo? Magic. It's basically a debuff. Well, we are at their headquarters. We gotta have something ready to fight off enemies with. Must be Ishtar. He is a good pawn and understands his God-given role well. I thank him. Hey, I was wondering something. Sure you have time to waste on me? Explain yourself. Haven't you looked down lately? At this rate, the kingdom's gonna be trashed. Maybe you should go fight the demons, not spend precious seconds on little old me. If that is the outcome, then so be it. Every era must conclude at some point. Game over, huh? You know, I had a feeling, but he hit sure doesn't care about humans, does he? They're nothing more than playthings to kill time with to him. He happened to side with the humans this time by pure chance, but next time, who's to say? So is the god the demons worship secretly him? Or would it be a stand-in? One he controls so he could play both sides? If you're right, what good would it do you? None. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make a point. Just wanted to verify the stuff I heard from the Liberators. Everything with a grain of salt, though. As creepy and weird as you are, they aren't much better. You know, if I'm really such a nuisance, you could just send me back to my world and be done with it. Denied. Irregular. Mind telling me why? Because my lord does not wish for that. What my lord wishes for is your death. You overcame every obstacle. Gained incredible strength and powerful allies. And yet, you will die before reaching your goal. You will, for that is the death that my lord wishes for you. Therefore, I ask that you perish before me. Of course, not before suffering and lamenting your pointless struggles. The best entertainment you can offer my lord is your despair and regret. So it shall be. Man, you guys are really pushing the envelope on what it means to be assholes. <laughs>
Next episode, God's Apostle.
you hoping to take both of us out? <laughs> you freaking kidding me? <laughs> what do you think, you're funny? I ain't dying. You're the last person I'd make a lover's suicide pact with, freak. <laughs> I call that a regular sphang. I hope she was impressed by it at least. Oh boy. <laughs> now what the hell happened here? Oh, a psycho. You didn't run away, huh? I was going to drop her off, as you said, but she insisted on coming to support me. I... I just... I just had to do something to help. I couldn't not. Okay. In any case, it's good to see that you're both all right. Um, yes! You as well! I'm so relieved to see you made it through all right. I'm incredibly relieved. For a moment, I thought I was going to die. And yet I made it out alive. I must say, I'm truly impressed by your teacher here, Master. Huh? Don't look so surprised. You augmented the power of my breath to such an incredible degree that it tore down the entire church. If that's not impressive, what is? Oh, crap. Miss Psycho, what exactly did you do? No, no, hold on! It's not what you think. I didn't mean to be so destructive. The church's barrier was tough to crack, so... Okay, go on. I was really only trying to improve Tio's breath somehow. You know, so we could break the barrier, but then... But then what? <sighs> Oh, I get it. Your farmer skill, right? That fermentation acceleration one? You use that to create methane, which is highly flammable. Then you use Tio's wings to collect the gas into one spot, and then... boom. It blew us away, too. The thrill. It's been a while since I felt so close to death. Okay, so not only did you destroy the barrier, but you blew up the whole church, too. In all my long life, never could I have imagined such an innovative technique. I'm simply awestruck. No, Nakamo, don't misunderstand. I promise I really didn't know it would explode like that. I just wanted to avoid half measures. <gasps> Wait, what happened to the people at the church? Are they all okay? Um, yeah, they probably blew up with the building. They seemed to be overconfident, and it was a surprise attack. A true stroke of genius. It was a huge explosion, and their guard was down. It's not likely they survived. No, you mean they're dead? I really thought that I was ready, but I don't think that I was. Are you going to be okay, Miss Psycho? Excuse me.
Excuse me, Master. What's up? There's someone there, and it doesn't appear to be a normal presence. Wait, what? You think he wants us to follow him? Seems that way. Well, Master, what do you propose? Let me think. It'd be ideal to meet up with Yue as soon as possible. And then again, we did come all the way out here for the Age of God's Magic. So we better go. Miss Aiko. Huh? What is it? You're probably not gonna like this much, but I'm gonna need you to come along with us. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I do know we have to figure out who that guy is. Talk, tell us who you are, and what it is you want from us. <laughs> okay then, I guess you're a liberator. shattering sound earlier. I've no doubt the palace is safe, but still, we should make sure there's nothing weird going on around here. And, just in case there is, we should stick together. Huh? 
Mia. Listen. What's wrong? That sound was the Great Barrier breaking. Uh, that can't be. The demons are invading. But how? That seems impossible. I don't get it. They got to the Royal Capital unnoticed? We can figure that out later, but for right now, we have to buy time so the people here can evacuate. And also, so the army and knights can regroup. Wait a minute, Koki. I think we should find Meld and the knights, not go off to fight on our own. Really? So, Mia, how many demons do you think there are out there? I'd say about a hundred thousand. Oh, you see, Koki? There's no way we can fight back against so many. We need a much larger force if we want to hold them off. And in order to do that, don't you think it would be best for us to coordinate properly with Mel? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I agree with Eddie. <laughs> I think she's really, really smart, you guys. She doesn't wear glasses for nothing. The glasses are about my vision, not my intelligence. <laughs> I gotta say, I agree with Eddie too. We just got scared before and lost our cool. Koki? Agreed. At times like this, we can't rush into action. It's better to coordinate. So let's regroup with Meld. Thank you for coming. You're aware of the situation? Yes. We heard from Nia. So, um... Where's Meld? The commander is taking care of something. For now, please, come with me to the center. As the hero, you're our leader at the moment. situation is dire. But I urge you to have no fear. Let us all bid our hero welcome. Today is the momentous day for which we have all been created. Now, hold your swords high. This beacon signals the start. Behold!
next episode, Betrayal. Ha <laughs> 
That is close enough, Koki. Koki, why are you swinging that sword at me? Who taught you that? Because it wasn't me. No, but Melt, you can't be. Don't listen. The... <laughs> I'm sorry, Commander. I beg you, Koki. Help me. What? What is this? Why can't I... Oh, it's finally working. I figured that poison was strong. I've heard of the prince awakening the princess with a kiss, but the princess putting the prince to sleep with a kiss sounds good too. I'd watch that movie. I do appreciate a trope reversal. Please, don't do this. Oh, relax. The poison's not lethal. I was never deny myself the pleasure of killing you with my own hands. Back then, I didn't. Just a little bit longer. Go, keep. Don't do it! Eddie! Does it hurt like a bad dream? Let me hear a pretty Eddie, stop! Speech. Shut up! Your agony is music to me. Eddie, stop! Curse my name, but be my puppet all the same. My beautiful plaything. I bless your sweet suffering. Now visit humiliation upon every soul. Hey, kids. Sorry I'm late to the party. Huh? <laughs> Psycho, please. Yes, understood. Uh. Oh, Shirasaki. Heaven, thy will shan't turn. The vessel may be lost, but her soul remains. It is yet to be between worlds. She's already dead, now, moron. Let us open a gate to hey, if you promise to be nice, death, I can bring Kauri back to life using my magic. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal, right? Wait, let's be reasonable, Nagamo. I mean, look at all these people around us. They all look very much alive, don't they? You can't bring back the dead, not really. At least this way you can keep them from getting all gross. Plus, you'd be able to do whatever you wanted with Cody. And not without me, you won't. Ha ha! Whoops, you let your guard down! Kill him! Too mild. That's too bad. Help me. Yeah, you got it. Goddamn about you at all. You've done all the damage you're going to. Now die. Nagumo! Shut up. <laughs> Screw you. Because if it wasn't for you, Cody, she would, she would be mine. This whole thing is your fault. We can blame others. You might as well take credit for what you've done. But you never take responsibility for anything. You're a waste of time. You'll see. I will kill you. If it's the last thing I do. I highly doubt that. Have fun out there. <laughs> Thank you. 
We did it, Master. We were able to attach her spirit, but to do anything beyond that will need time. I'd like Yue's help if possible. This won't hold forever. Surrender! Don't you value the lives of your comrades? For just outside these walls, we were a hundred thousand strong with a million more on the way. No matter how formidable you may be, you can't continue fighting and protecting everyone at the same time. Psycho, I need your help, too. Understood. Right. To the top of the mountain. Follow me. <laughs> Miss Psycho! <laughs> I'll take care of things over here. Kauri needs you. Please help her. Appreciate it, Sonobe. I'm leaving things to you. <laughs> yeah, Gashi. Stay strong. Just wait here, okay? Have faith in us. I give you my word. You will see Kauri again. Nakamo. <laughs> Come on, snap out of it. If you don't, then who's gonna clean up my messes from now on? You promise? I can trust you.
Masako. I'm not sure. I know she was taking a break, though. I see. Hajime, huh? Kaori will be all right. Please go talk to Aiko. <sighs> okay. I'm so sorry. Huh? Nagumo. You don't have to smile for me. Huh? You care about your students more than anything, and I killed some of them. I'm sure that's weighing on you. <sighs> to be honest, it's going to take me a while to get over it. I could never forgive what Hiyama did, and he didn't deserve forgiveness. But if he were still alive, if you hadn't killed him, at least there'd be the possibility he could atone. And yet at the same time, I can understand the rage you must have felt towards him. Anyway, it's useless. I have no right to criticize you, knowing my part in it. Miss Aiko, you were just helping out. Don't be so hard on yourself. At the end of the day, it was Tio's breath that killed him. That isn't the point, and you know it! I helped Tio with the full knowledge that people could get killed, but I still did it, don't you see? Are you saying that you regret that choice? No. In that moment, I felt justified in my choice. I couldn't just sit back and let the church continue doing what it was doing. I wanted to help you. I had to stop them. I knew if I didn't, my students would suffer. So no, I have no regrets. It was worth it. Well, that's good to hear. So you'll act like my teacher again? Huh? If so, if you still think you've got what it takes to be a role model for us, then would you indulge me just one very selfish request? A request? That depends. I want you to keep feeling guilty for the harm you've perpetrated. And I want you to keep on carrying that weight. <sighs> Fighting for the right reasons, feeling the burden of violence, always doing the right thing, and agonizing over every death. In essence, knowing who you are, staying in touch with your humanity. All those degrees of empathy are lost to me at this point. But as my teacher, you can show me what it means to be human. I'll keep my eye on you. That way, when I make it back to Japan, I can live a proper human life. <laughs> oh, Nagumo. <laughs> that said, if 
If one day you find that you're in so much pain, you feel like you're about to break, and it seems like there's nobody else you can rely on, you can cry on my shoulder. <laughs> Thanks for that. You're much nicer than you think you are. And if I need to, I'll take you up on that sometime. Talk about... Well then, how about now? slept much at all these past five days, have you? Don't worry about me, I'm quite well. I am working hard, but the citizens who have lost their loved ones and livelihoods have it worse. When I feel fatigued, I just think of them. You're one of them. You lost your father. <clears throat> Please, don't feel bad. I'm sorry. How is Shizuku faring with all this? <sighs> Nothing's changed. <sighs> She'll be totally normal and then she gets this blank stare and just goes away. She'll be that way until they return. To be honest, I don't think I can trust Nakamo. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, I wish Shizuku would never talk to him again. Mm. Oh. Look! Cookie, look! Uh, up there! Something's descending from way up in the sky! What? What are you talking about? Uh. Heads up, everyone! Uh. Something's coming from above! Uh. Glad to see that you're alive. Uh, uh... Where is she? Cody? Why isn't she here, Nakamo? Uh, she'll be here soon. Uh huh? But, like, brace yourself, because she looks a little different than you remember. Um, and look, it's not my fault, so don't blame me, okay? I'm sorry, what? She... what now? Okay, you're totally freaking me out. What happened? Tell me what you did to Cody, you jerk! Huh? Uh... Wait, that voice! Catch me, please! <laughs> what is this? Well, who are you? Koki, wait! Simply, we used magic to protect Cowdy's soul, then we repaired Noint's body and transplanted Cowdy's soul into it. Interesting. I don't get it. Uh, well, um, here's the deal. We learned before that the magic we normally use is just an inferior copy of the magic from the era called the God's Age, right? You with me so far? Yes. The magic they mention in this world's creation mythology. It works on a fundamental level, unlike the elemental magic we use in this age. Hold on. Are you saying what I think you are? That Nagamo can use God's Age magic to manipulate souls? Is that right? Mm -hmm. Now I get it. You use that to protect Kaori's soul from death and transfer it to another body. Yes. I knew you'd catch on, Shizuku. But, like, why'd you pick that body? 
Was her old body really that far gone? Uh, we were able to restore Cowdy's original one, and we could have put her soul back in it. Then why didn't you? Because I asked them not to. Huh? It was my choice, and I wanted to be stronger. <sighs> you know, Cowdy, gets an idea won't shut up. As far as her original form, we stored it in a suspended state using magic. She's free to go back to it whenever she wants. <sighs> That'll make sense. Huh. Cody always did get the most harebrained ideas in that head of hers, but I gotta say, this one takes the cake. <laughs> Sorry again for worrying you. Don't be. You're still alive, aren't you? It's all good. <laughs> so, Nagamo, Yue, Shia, Tio, I thank you. I am eternally grateful to you. You saved my best friend. I can never repay this debt. If there's anything I can do, you just have to ask. I'll do my best to make good. <laughs> You're as honorable as ever, aren't you? Don't make a big deal out of it, okay? We didn't do anything crazy, we just saved our friend, that's all. <laughs> you say that, but you did console me when things went south. And you used some of your precious medicine on our Koki. <sighs> uh, if you had a total breakdown, I never would have heard the end of it from Kauri. Um, excuse me, sir. That's pretty rude, Hajime. And besides, uh -huh. according to a certain teacher, I should be shooting for a less solitary existence. <laughs> I could do some things by myself, but not everything. He listened. What do you mean? Are you seriously telling me we've been nothing but pawns in some god's game this entire time? Why the hell didn't you tell us about this sooner? And if I had told you sooner, you think you would have believed me? <laughs> that god is crazy, and everything you guys are doing is completely pointless. You would have gotten pissed at me. Called me a liar, maybe even worse. Uh, maybe, but now we must fight this god together. Whoa, 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 slow your roll. I never said I was going to fight god or anything. For real? Don't you care at all what happens to the people of this world? I'm flattered you think I have that kind of power, but I'm not going to risk my life for people I've never met. Well, why not? You're stronger than me, I know that much. And what's the point of having power if you're not going to use it to do the right thing? Use power for justice. Right. This is your problem. It's precisely why you always end up shitting the bed just when it matters the most. Excuse me? It's not enough to just do what's within your power. You've got to want to do something so badly that you're willing to gain the power to do it. But you weren't built that way. You don't have that kind of resolve. Is it you, eh? If we stayed, wouldn't that be better? They have their teacher with them. They'll be all right. That's not what I mean. If you leave all your friends, will you be okay? <laughs> yeah, I love you. Of course you will, always. Oh, hey everyone. Hey, mind if we sit with you? Not at all, sit down. <sighs> Excuse me, miss, is it all right if I call you big sister? A big sister. So, uh, Nagamo, where are you headed to next? To a great labyrinth, right? Yeah, in the great forest to the east. We happen to know there's one of them there. In that case, you'll be passing through the Empire's territory? Uh, oh, Lily. I guess so. Well, um, would it be too much trouble if I tagged along with you? Uh, tell me why. In the fallout of the recent invasion, there are a number of important matters we need to discuss with the Empire. It's imperative we meet with them as soon as possible. I don't mind taking you, but not into the capital. And I definitely won't be joining you when you meet the Emperor, either. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't dream of asking so much of you. In that case, we're coming along, too. We can't leave Lily in the hands of someone who doesn't care what happens to this world. So, I'll protect her along the way myself. If Nagamo isn't gonna do anything, then I'll just have to save this world. To do that, I need power. The power of God's Age magic. If I follow you, then I can get that magic, right? Well, I can tell you where it is, but you're gonna have to get it yourself. And you follow me? It sounds like a freaking nightmare. <laughs> but think, Nagamo. Didn't you say that in our current state, if we went to the labyrinth, we would all die almost immediately? Uh, nah, I didn't say that. I mean, I was pretty useless, but I was still able to pull it off, you know? I'm sure you'll be fine. You'd ace it, fam. 
Not a sure thing, though, is it? Can I come too? I owe you one. Think of it this way. If I'm gonna take on all the great labyrinths myself, even one God's Age magic would make a world of difference. Oh, please let me come along too, Nagamo! I want to get stronger so I can try to talk some sense into Annie! Yeah, I want to go too! Come on! I want to be able to protect myself and my friends! <laughs> well then... <laughs> huh? uh, fine, man. We ride at dawn. Yes, you won't regret this, Nagamo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, team. The labyrinths are ours. Oh, yeah! Um, Hashimi, you sure this is gonna work? Yeah. I was afraid at first, because they'd get in the way. But if coming along can grant them powers, I'm beginning to think that's not such a bad idea. Hashimi, you're terrifying. Master is truly great. His thinking is beyond human boundaries. Hmm? What do you mean? He's so ruthless. He's using his classmates as human shields and bait. Hajime. Uh, oh, look. Huh? <laughs> hey, Hajime. Uh, open up. Oh, we're doing that? <laughs> Yummy. Uh, please eat mine too, Master. It's so tasty. Okay. Fine, just this once. What the heck is this crap? I swear I've never been so uncomfortable in my life. You pervert. What? I'm not a pervert! Why would you say that? I'm just eating my food like any normal person! Liar, you're enjoying the essence of Hajime. No, this is pure slander! If it's a pervert you're looking for, may I present exhibit Tio? Look at how she's licking that fork like nobody's watching. Teal, stop that immediately. What? I can't help it. This is the closest I can get to a kiss from my master after all. Oh, I know. Master, I beg you. No, I demand a reward. Huh? I help protect your teacher. I think that warrants the reward, don't you? Oh, um, excuse me? Hey, that's not fair. Fine, what do you want? But I'm warning you, I'll only give you what I'm comfortable with, no more. Don't worry. What I want is quite reasonable. See? My deepest desire is for you to brutalize my derriere just like you did on the day we first met! Not a chance. Ah, but why not? That's totally reasonable. I just want you to penetrate my tushy with a thick, stiff red like before. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since that day! Stop making that sound like something it definitely wasn't. Wasn't it? Because I can't think of anything it could be besides what it sounds like. Yeah, she's describing what happened to a tea. He really did penetrate her rear end. Yeah. And honestly, it seems like he enjoyed it. That's the truth. Saying something that definitely wasn't is a stretch. Hajime, you're solely responsible for her perversion on your part. What? Nagamo? How could you have violated poor sweet Tio like that? If that's what you really want, Tio, then that's what you're gonna get, your sweet reward. Let's go with this one this time, shall we? It's harder, longer, and heavier than the last one by far. Oh, wait, Master, I think you misunderstand. That one's so well put. Oh, I think you can take it, right? You'll be so thoroughly satisfied, you'll never have to ask me again. The Master is serious. He's really coming at me with that thing. You ain't Tia County! Help me, my sisters! You must stop him, please! <laughs> Hajime. Looks like today is going to be another grueling day. Mm. Let's get this journey over with. When we're done, we'll go get Mew.
Right, Nakamo. There's no time to waste. Yeah, we're gonna clear that great labyrinth no sweat. I can taste it. All right, calm down. Well, Nakamo, I appreciate you helping us. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll take care of things in the capital. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everyone, promise you'll be safe. You do the same, Teach.
कहली पियरी सरिया कहाँ से गई दूधवा है कहाँ से मंगली पियरी सरिया कहाँ से गई दूधवा है कि मैया मुझे कहाँ से मन गली चुनरिया चली छठ मैया है कि मैया मुझे कहाँ से मन गली चुनरिया चली छठ मैया है गुड से मन गली पियरी सरिया पड़ोसन से दूधवा है गुड से मन गली पियरी सरिया पड़ोसन से दूधवा है कि मैया मुझे नहरा से लहल चुनरिया चली छठ मैया है कि मैया मुझे नहरा से मन गली लहल चुनरी चढ़ेला छठ मैया है